excited to get started again. This is my very first video that I'm taping at my new home, my new location. And um, I just wanted to make it go live, even though I don't have a, a, a major project to work on, a journal or something that I'm going to be sewing or anything. I just wanted to bring it on because sometimes you have to go through all of the the prep work before you can actually get to an actual project and I just wanted to show this is where I'm at right now uh -oh. I hope my blade is fine there we go I think it needs a little bit of a spruce them back up something might be stuck on here okay how's that something stuck right there let's see what this is That's much better. I'm just kind of hanging out. Just wanted to, like I said, just turn on the camera and chat with, with you all. It's been quite a challenge um, to get myself going again. Because, like I said, all of my things are packed away. and I just recently um, unpacked everything finding everything, finding projects that I started off before I moved, you know, some of you may or may not know, but like I said, since this is my first video coming out, um, I'm stepping out in faith, I am a praying and a praying that, that I have the opportunity to share with you all, all the crafts, all the arts, that I just do on the side and I'm stepping out there and I'm saying hey, let's see if we can do some things together and uh, see where it goes I'm hoping you all like some of this work I know some of the some of these are going to be vintagey like these are you know some of these letters could be old some of the fonts are probably going to be older you may have seen them before you may have not I don't know but right now we're working on 1 Corinthians uh, 13, 4, which is the book of love. So I have it in different formats going vertical. I love the way that looks. If you look at it, for some of you may see it, but when you hold it this way, it could be like a sword. <laughs> I love the way the L came out. I think it's so cool. <laughs> so we're going to work with these and hopefully we can figure out what what we can do with it i think it's so beautiful it can work its pockets this way this way it could be the front cover of a journal or uh, an envelope you know how i love i love doing stationery so i do have some videos that have previously posted um the volume wasn't great and i'm hoping this volume turns out better i did get a mic but it's not quite working out as good as i thought now i printed this one in photo paper and i don't know if you can see the sheen right now because really i can't see what you guys are seeing i'm using my phone to film and uh, but it came out so stunning it just it's gorgeous i might have some of these available on my etsy shop but i ran out of ink so if i print some more i can either put a magnet in the back or just the way it is i can have options there for you either magnetic or put put it as a sticker I don't know, I might use my die cutter and do some shapes on it. I'm, I'm thinking just different things. So I'm throwing it out there. It's cute. it's lovely. Some of these are double sided. Yeah, see this one here, and I can see like an envelope with this one, or just a flip where you can see part of the page. It's so pretty. See two different colors. I'm playing with my inks to see which one I like. Different uh, wood um, in the back. So this one just has the grunge, and then this one has the grunge and the wood paneling i don't know if you can see that i'm hoping you can see that i'm trying to do different angles to see if you can see that and then this one i printed on photo paper and it is just stunning 
Love it. Okay, here's some more we're gonna cut. Let's maximize the envelope size. Or should we do smaller? What about a four by six? Let's see what we can do. Four by six is eight and a quarter and eight and a quarter. Um, let's do that. Let's three and three eighths. So three and three eighths. We're gonna do this here. And now we're gonna pull my over. Where is it up? Here it is. Three and three eighths. This, I do it a little bit unconventional because it just works for me a little bit better. But I'll be right here. Okay, and then I flip it upside down. And I believe I'm doing it right, and I haven't done an envelope in a very long time. So I'm hoping I'm doing it right. Okay, this way, and then this way, three and three eighths. And then I go back and I put this in here again just in the shape and I score this edge. I think we're doing okay. So let's okay, like this. There's no more paper. Oops, I don't wanna like I said it's been a minute. I haven't done this in a in a let's see when did I move? I moved in July. I'm just all over my place with my stories I die. Okay, here and we can determine which side we want to be the actual envelope. I mean, the, the, the top part. So this is the top part. There you go. Whoa, pretty. Look at it. And then you open it. It's got the inside. I love this. I love, love this. Then we can ink the edges, make it look a little bit distressed if we want to. We don't have to. Some people don't like it. Some people do. But here's the thing. See right here? I don't like this little big peak coming out. So I like to do something different, and this is what I like to do. I'm looking for my little ruler, sorry. Okay, here's my little ruler. I like to connect these two little sections here. And I like to just flip this, score it here, and I bring it over. And I just do it like this. And that's the little envelope that I do. This is how I do it. I don't take it off for anything. I mean, you can fold it in if you want to. You can do that. Or you can flip it over. Either one works just fine. But now you have that. And then you can also round this little corner with this the back of this little guy. You can do this number. And do it. Boom. And now it's rounded. Boom, boom, done. Boom, done. I don't know. I'm kind of flipping it all over the place. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's one envelope down. Let's do the other envelope. Print more of these, and this is going to be the new 
collection, the new uh, envelope to the new collection. So here's what I do sometimes. Actually, I do it all the time. Sometimes with these folk, these envelopes, they're so busy. Where do you put the address? Well, I either include a sticker that you can put in here and you can write on it. Um, and on the back, I usually put your return address. I mean, you can put it here if you want to, but it's so pretty that just the person, the address, and then of course the stamp. Let's just keep it there. Okay, so that one is going to be part of this here. And now we can do our cover. I am working on this journal. And this is going to be the cover. <laughs> um, th these are the spine. But I saw something as I am reviewing this that... There is a difference between the brown cover and the white cover. It's very subtle, but with the white background, the this really pops, the white pops. And I, even though it looks really good with this, it's a little bit more, sorry, my window's open because it's nice and windy and breezy and raining today. It's very lovely. And I'm getting hot because I ironed these and I got hot. <laughs> so forgive me if you hear that the background noise. So I saw this looks really good, but I think I really like the way it really pops with the white background. So what I'm going to do is I've already uh, pre-trimmed these um, uh, fabric and my boards. This is six by nine and this is four by eight so it's going to be uh, a spine that has a little bit of window here a little bit of window here so we're going to tie it inside um, i did get some a box it was really nice so it is a corrugated box and i am just repurposing reusing what i have I cleaned it up, wiped it up. It's very nice and sturdy. So that's what I'm going to be using. And um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm just going to cover these um, boards white. And then we'll cover them with the fabric. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to use the, excuse me for my reach here. I'm going to use my um, double-sided tape. So that I can cover more ground quickly. And since this is a a four inch this is a two inch i'm just going to use this that's going to go on the spine it's one inch all the way around and we're going to do pretty much the same thing now um you don't have you it you can do it either way 
with this way with the crease on top but I'm gonna just do it this way it doesn't really matter because we're gonna cover it one more time anyway after I do this here then there's gonna be a cover on top to you know to cover all of this part so it's a, it's perfectly fine so what do I use what do I use to put this on on paper now there's a lot of people that use the fabric uh, glue the this I use this I, I don't have a problem with just using this tape it works fine I have another heavy-duty book that I did and heavy-duty I mean it's it's four inches like this one's gonna be it's four inches by um, nine inches by six inches so pretty much the same kind of book but the spine goes all the way to the top and I covered it with uh, this tape double-sided tape um, it's up to you however you want to cover your items but this is what I have here right now this fabric and then I did this I had bought this fabric when we were doing everybody was doing face masks that's what I got this for and then I had this two different times I had them and I'm like this is so lovely we're gonna work on it I'm working with all the materials all the paper that I currently own experiment next time okay we're gonna do the same thing to these I'm, okay I'm, I'm, so we are done covering this book we will catch up on the next time thank you so much for joining me don't forget to come back and join me for the inside the inserts um this is going to be very lovely i think well i think it's going to be very lovely with this one here and we'll use this for little pockets on the inside and if you could imagine this is going to be a very very chunky book so you're going to want to join me we have to fill this book with all kinds of fun stuff so come back and uh, so you can see what we're going to be filling it with. Um, it, don't worry about this. It's going to get covered. So don't worry. Um, if you like what you're seeing, now keep in mind, this is going to be a series. Uh, we're going to call this, I think we had some colors here. Love Music. I believe that's what was the title for this one. 
and um, so I think this is going to be a very lovely book and it's going to be very chunky full of all kinds of fun stuff so look forward to um, chatting with you again 